find me out today in the, in this wonderful local forest it's only a couple of miles from my front door so I'm very lucky yeah you find me here today because I'm out looking for a new camp spot I've not been out since last summer I'm typically a fair weather type of guy which I'm hoping to change but during the winter months I'm really not motivated to get out I see all these people doing these winter camps, extreme camping, and I'm like, yeah, fair play to you, but <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm just looking for a new camp spot. Just been, there's a spot I found on uh, the Ordnance Survey app and on Google Maps on the edge of a field that looks promising. So I might check that out sometime, but it's obviously because this is Forestry Commission, you get tracks going through, so you really want to be camping off the tracks. Yeah, I've been going for a bit of a strange time. I've reached that time of life. I believe they call it the menopause. You know, when you start evaluating your life, trying to justify your place in this world, realizing you're not a young man anymore. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a difficult time. But I think I'm getting it to the other side of it. But I had some bad news recently. I lost a, an old friend. His daughter got in touch, told me he died. And uh, I'm absolutely gutted because he sprang to mind and it goes into this strange place my head's been because I've been pushing everyone away and I've just not been interested in engaging in life. And uh, he came to mind just before Christmas. Call him. You know what it's like, especially on the run up to Christmas. Everything's busy, you've got a million and one things to do. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. That's a call that's never going to happen now. And I'm absolutely gutted. Totally choked. And uh, you have to excuse me, my nose is running and I haven't got any tissue. Yeah, and I spoke to him, I think it was last year. And uh, over the phone, and he was pleased to hear that I'm up here in Norfolk and you know express a desire to come up sometime I've never been and uh, that's a trip that's never going to happen now got his funeral in Feb his daughter's asked me to be a pool bearer but he's having a laugh his final request was that everyone in attendance wears yellow she said he never wore yellow in his life <laughs> so he's having a game but yeah um I'll find something to wear. Got so many memories of the guy, but the things we got up to, it was just a laugh. It was just, you know, when two minds sink and you're on the same wavelength, that was me and Jason. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss him terribly. This is the spot where I came up when I was harvesting wood for my walking stick and my catapults. They're seasoning in the garage right now, so that should be nice for later this year. Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is, with regards to my recently departed friend, is don't put off that call. If someone springs to mind and you're putting it off and you're putting it off, do your best to make that call. Go and see them. 
because none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, it's been a bit of a shock for me, and I suddenly decided I, I want to re engage with life, I want to re engage with my friends, my family, just life in general, and I want to just continue building memories. I had another friend of mine recently, and this, this shocked me. This was, um, I'd phoned him up. He was one of the people I'd pushed away. And you know, we'd, we'd known each other years and we'd drunk together, we'd partied together, we'd worked together. And he's a lovely bloke, top bloke, uh, as is his missus. And she's had a hard life to go through what she went through and she's you can imagine what I'm talking about she went through some serious serious times when she was younger and uh, the fact that she's still standing and laughing it's a testament to just how strong she is but yeah this other friend of mine uh, I was speaking to him and I found out that um, the day before he buried his dad I didn't even know his dad was dying and uh, but because he was being buried with his mum who'd well, passed the other year she had to be obviously be exhumed and buried together so my selfishness and my withdrawal from life meant I wasn't there for my friend when he buried both of his parents and you know what he didn't forgive me he told me there was nothing to forgive just showed me love just mate I understand, you know, I know how it is. He knows my head's not been in the right place, but that one really got me. My own selfishness, you know, I could have been there for him. I could have been a support. That's too wrapped up in my own problems. Again, make that call. Don't put it off. So, yeah, I've just checked out an area over there. I've got all these young trees. Yeah, so I've uh, checked out an area right over that side of the forest, but there's a heath that I've never explored and I want to go there. So I just needed to get out of the house. Just, um, I've got some time off actually. It's uh, I've got a shoulder injury. I did it at work last year and it's the rotator cuff and you know I can lift heavy weights up and down normally but if I do something silly like go to open the sun visor on the car or stretch out my arm it's like a burning pain and uh, it's quite debilitating this is lovely earlier but I'm working next week I've got the last of my annual leave to take the week after so that's next week so I'm working this week then the following week I'm off but I'm going to get signed off I can't do the exercises that the physio's given me. I need to sort of give my arm a break and have the time. I can't do it in my job. I can't stop the van. I can't be doing these exercises outside a customer's house. I can't be, you know, it's just not feasible. And this is really, really affecting me, this arm now. You know, even like laying in bed, stretching my arm out, put it over my missus, and it hurts. I was just resting my arm in my hoodie pockets yesterday. That was hurting. Um, it's, I need to get it fixed because the bike packing, how am I going to lift my bike up over a fence or somewhere? It's just not going to happen. Backpack, I mean, this is a small little day pack that I wear when I'm going out on these little walks. That hurt, putting it on, it absolutely hurt. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking at a number of weeks off. Do you know what? I've only explored a fraction of this forest. So much to find. And of course, it's less than five weeks till March, and I can't wait. I'm not a fan of the cold pumps, really not. And I did bring my cook set, because when I was searching out that other spot by that field, I thought, you know what, bring me chair. I wonder what that was then, wasn't it? Uh, bring me chair, bring me cook set. Have a brew. Got all set up. The windbreak around it on a little stump of the stove. Got the chair set up. Didn't bring the water, did I? Didn't bring the water. What an idiot.
Yeah, I've got a couple of new sleeping bags. I bought, um, I've got two Van Gogh sleeping bags. I've got a three season one I've had for a little while, but for Christmas I've got a four season, which I'm not really going to need very often. But if I do start doing winter camps, then obviously I'll need it for that. But yeah, the three season should keep me nice and toasty. I've also got, what I got for my birthday was that uh, backwards bungalow. And I'm uh, really looking forward to giving that a go. I've never been in this part of the forest. A few people around, but a few are far between. Well, that's dark in there. That's not a nice little spot. I do like the edge of a forest. It's not because I'm scared of the dark, <laughs> nothing like that. No, it's because I do like a sunset. I like to face the west and uh, just watch the sun go down. Yeah, I've never checked this part of the forest out before. head into the sun shall we I'm hoping the wind isn't affecting the audio too badly on this phone try the best to keep out of it yeah I can't believe I forgot the water I got all set up and everything it's one of the things I said to myself before I left. It's right, okay, I've got everything packed up, don't forget your water. I did chuckle. It was a stupid thing to do. I just really fancied a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. I bought a little sachet of instant coffee and a tea bag and one milk. I'm just going to sit there in the woods and chill and have a little brew and now it won't happen and I'm going to cry. Oh, what an idiot. Rookie mistake. Yeah, once everything warms up and uh, becomes nice and lush and the wildlife starts making an appearance. I'm going to try and get some cinemagraphic shots in my videos. Just been playing around, you know. Just trying to make them look a little bit more interesting. There's really not a lot you can do. There's no leaves, no foliage, there's no insects. Birds are few and far between. Not really much to film. It's just nice being out. Yeah, there's not really much more for me to do down here. I'm going to head on back. It's really misty, almost smoky. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head on back to the car now. I just need to get out. Just forward fever. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this year. I've got a lot planned. Bike packing and uh, wild camping. Nothing extravagant, nothing beyond my reach like last year. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the walk back. Definitely going to spend more time up here. But yeah, like I said, remember that. If someone springs to mind and you haven't called them in a while and you've been meaning to, make that call. Because trust me, the feeling you got when that opportunity to call them is gone and will never come back, it's not nice. It's, yeah, call them. Life's too short. Life is way, way too short. Right, I'm off. I don't know how far I am from the car. Well, that's a couple of miles that way, I think. So, but yeah, I will be back here soon. So, uh, you know, this is me just talking absolute nonsense. Well, thanks for listening. If you managed to get this far. <laughs>